Hey everyone, I'm so excited because I'm going to give you a tour of my zero waste kitchen. So most of you guys know that we recently moved into a 300 square foot studio-ish apartment. I say studio-ish because there's a door to the bedroom slash living room and then it's separated by the kitchen and the bathroom. So come on in. So here is where we store all of our dishes. This is just stuff that we use every single day. And uh, I'm going to show you some of my favorite items. Um, I want to draw attention to those green cups. Those are my grandmother's. Really love those. Um, my dishes, I got those as a graduation present after I graduated college. I, I am very fond of those. We've got our wine glasses because we live, you know, right next to Napa. And we've got some champagne flutes. I got these for my 21st birthday. They are hand painted and they are just really, really special to me. I really love those a lot. These are some sushi plates that my dad picked up for me when he was in Japan. And that's Justin's mug and next to it is my mug, our favorite little mugs. I have those little tiny ramekins that I use for, you know, recipes and cooking, our tiffins, which I use all the time, our stainless steel kettle, which I love so much, and our stainless steel water bottles. These are so cool because you screw off the top and then it becomes a goblet. So you are prepared for pretty much any situation out and about. They're awesome. Moving down here, we have our cutlery drawer. Inside, you know, we use these things every day. Spoons for cooking, reusable straws. We have other things like vegetable peelers, and I also keep my measuring cups. These are plastic. I've had these before I went zero waste, but they're collapsible and they store away super, super compact, and I really like that a lot. Down here is my mason jar collection my food processor and my crock pot and some mixing bowls. I use this stuff all the time. Here we just have more miscellaneous items for cooking. Spiralizer, pizza cutter, strainer, kitchen shears, just things I use all the time. Down here we have some more smaller kitchen appliances like the blender and my KitchenAid mixer and of course I mean what is life without a waffle maker I mean every good house needs a waffle maker you need waffles to live down here we have my cake carrier which I love because I can get donuts or cake to go pots and pans my cleaning supplies little thing of diatomaceous earth down here in this drawer we have light bulbs and parts to attach to the vacuum first aid kit and then to the right is our recycling bin over here we have scrubs bamboo scrubs that can be composted this is refillable dish soap from fillery and i've got a rag a compostable dish scrub and sponge our drying rack which is mostly stainless steel and i love cutting boards justin actually got that cutting board for me and i love it so much actually i think he got all those cutting boards for me um, more of our cabinet, just where we store this Misto. I absolutely love because it's perfect for spraying for muffin tins. And I've got tortilla chips, which I buy in bulk from the local tortilleria, which is awesome. Olive oil. Then I store my onions and garlic in that tiny basket and local honey. Just other things that I buy in bulk and make. And then this goes on to my pantry, which... 99% of everything here was bought in bulk. We've got, you know, sugar and then beans, oats, chocolate chips, more beans, corn, pasta, cornmeal, more oats, quinoa, flour, just pretty much all the staples. I don't try to buy too much. Um, and then we've got some basic spices here that I like to use all the time. Some of those need to be refilled. That pretty much wraps up the kitchen tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If there are any other videos that you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section below. I will be doing a full house tour pretty soon, um, so I hope you're looking forward to that. If you want to be notified when that comes out, press that big red subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. All right, well, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.